Did you know Bill Cosby's a free man this morning after nearly three years in prison for a sexual assault conviction? He's back at home. Pennsylvania's highest court ruled that his right to due process was violated during the trial and ordered him to be released immediately. He smiled and waved at supporters who shouted, we love you, Mr. Cosby. He told CNN via a cell phone interview as he ate that he knew this day would come. I don't know if you've ever seen the the special on the fellow who shot Martin Luther King. I believe I, a, I... Go ahead. There's an interview with the chief of police. And he says the guilty person knows more than anybody. Well, But dozens of accusers say otherwise. One said her stomachs in knots. Now, Cosby's lawyer says that this is how the justice system is supposed to work. As we said from day one, we just didn't think he was treated fairly. And that the system has to be fair. And fortunately, the Supreme Court agreed with us. He's happy. His wife is happy. Um, the system only works if it's fair to all sides. And that's the bottom line. As Bill Cosby's attorney, the prosecutor in the case says that the court's decision was actually based on a procedural issue that he called irrelevant to the facts of the crime. Cosby was convicted of drugging and assaulting Andrea Constead in 2004. She says that his release could discourage other survivors of sexual assault from coming forward. And another accuser was moved to tears when she says she learned of Cosby's release. I'm totally overwhelmed. I felt like I was hit by a train. You know, he deserved to be what he did because what he did was unjust. He's out on the technicality, but that doesn't change the fact he is a predator. It's been hard and to see him to get away like that and everything he done to myself. He ruined a perfect, innocent girl. You know, one of Bill Cosby's accusers says that the man, you know, formerly known as America's dad, is delusional if he thinks that what he did was consensual. Patricia Lyra, Leary Stoyer says Cosby offered to mentor her in the late 70s. Regarding his innocence, I know the truth. The other 62 women and Andrea Constan know the truth. He has maintained his innocence, as he says, but really... I believe he's quite deluded that he's had a compulsion to do this for a very long time. We're talking about five decades worth of women. And um, he has always maintained, and so has Mrs. Cosby, that this was all consensual. It was not consensual to be drugged and assaulted. She says that his release makes her angry and sad, adding that there were more than 63 women who came forward. Accuser Victoria Valentino says that she's outraged and stunned and says that the decision to release them is a legal glitch uh, that put, quote, a serial predator on the street, unquote. Valentino alleges that Cosby, sex Cosby sexually assaulted her in 1969, and he's denied that. Cosby's longtime TV wife, Felicia Rashad, tweeted about his release uh, from prison saying, finally, a terrible wrong is being righted. A miscarriage of justice is corrected, unquote there. After catching some heat online, she then wrote more that she fully supports survivors of sexual assault. Melissa, um, the overall sentiment from celebrities has been shocked mm -hmm. that suddenly, as of yesterday, he is out. It did seem rather sudden and everybody has an opinion and people are reacting online this morning. Good good morning to you, Robin. Um, actress and Time's Up founding member Amber Tamplin tweeted this, quote, I am furious to hear this news. I personally know women who this man drugged and raped while unconscious. Shame on the court and this decision. An author and Top Chef host Padma Lakshmi, quote, Cosby drugged and raped 60 women. Do they not deserve fairness and justice? This is why people don't come forward. That's a quote from her. Here's what Gerardo Rivera had to say, quote, he was convicted by a court so tainted by public opinion and social pressure that it allowed obviously prejudicial evidence and improper witnesses. He may be a bad guy, but in this case, he was railroaded by the mob. And from actress and Me Too survivor Rose McGowan, quote, I stand with all of Bill Cosby's accusers on this dark 
Park Day and from Will and Grace actress Deborah Messing quote to every woman who was sexually assaulted by Bill Cosby. My heart hurts for you today and I am full of fury. It's horrifying. You're seeing a number of those kinds of tweets from celebrities and regular folks, but you're also seeing a lot of support for Bill Cosby online right now. All right. So still to come more about what the Pennsylvania Supreme Court said that it found and why it says he should never be again, uh, at least tried on this account. HLM legal analyst Joey Jackson. Um, hey, this, this court, this Pennsylvania Supreme Court did not exonerate him. What did it say? Yeah, they did not, Robin. Good morning to you. Obviously, a lot of victims in pain uh, feeling kind of, I think, let down by a system of justice. Uh, but then there's the other narrative with respect to your question as to what they said. What they said was when you have a prosecutor who in 2004 makes a pronouncement, that pronouncement is, I will not prosecute you, sir. Remember what occurred here. What occurred here, right, was that the prosecutor back then investigated the case. What occurred was that apparently there was that interaction uh, that this particular trial jury found to be illegal and found him to be guilty for. Excuse me, that happened in 2004. She then reported it a year later. The prosecutor investigated the case. They searched Cosby's home. They interviewed him, et cetera. And he ultimately, that is the prosecutor said, I'm not moving forward. I don't have the evidence. There are some issues here. There are some inconsistencies here. Inconsistencies here. I don't have any physical evidence. Based upon that, what he then did, the prosecutor said, since I'm not prosecuting you, you can then feel free to engage in any civil type of resolution saying that to the victim that you feel is appropriate. Why? Because in civil court, Robin, you have these things called depositions. What are they? They're instances where attorneys call you in and they question you as to your conduct or lack thereof, as to the propriety or lack of propriety of your conduct. You don't have to sit for those civil depositions if you have a criminal proceeding because you have a Fifth Amendment right against self-incrimination. You could say nothing. But because Cosby was in an instance where he wasn't being prosecuted, he didn't have a Fifth Amendment right and he was compelled to answer the questions. The, the court here, Supreme Court said, you can't do that. If you tell someone they're not being prosecuted and in reliance upon you telling them that, they open their mouth and they waive their right against self-incrimination and they say incriminating things like what? Like I gave her Benadryl, like I've given people quaaludes, like I've done some things with her and other women, right, that these are incriminating statements. But the court said we wouldn't really be there but for the prosecutor saying you can talk. And so based upon him being really induced into giving those statements because of a promise that he thought he wouldn't be prosecuted and that leading to his prosecution, the court said, you know what? Can't do it. Unfair. I'm barring you from prosecuting him from the future and I'm vacating the conviction that we have here. And that's the essence of their 79 page decision. Yeah, so it says he cannot be prosecuted again, but is that on the Andrea Constat accusations? Can someone else come forward, or would they have already if the statute of limitations hadn't run out? So, Robin, that's the great question, right? Because here's the issue. Um, no one, anyone can come forward at any time. But if you're looking for criminal prosecution, there is a statute of limitations, which is the time period upon which a person could state their claim and otherwise go to court and hold you accountable. Once that time frame expires under our legal system, you are foreclosed. You are shut down from making any accusation that would be criminal. Now, could civil cases be pursued if they're in the requisite time frames? Yes, they can. Could new allegations, if they surface, that are within an appropriate statute of limitations be pursued? Yes, they can. But as it relates to anything, right, for Andrea Constant or anything involving the women who prosecutors looked at and they have vetted and evaluated and said, hey, there's something bad here, those are all statute of limitations out. So therefore, you can't get any criminal recourse as to those. All right, Joey, thank you so much. There's so much more to unpack about this.